Hello, ladies, gins, and delusional escapees. Are you ready to beat up some prisoners? Let's do it. Unfortunately, I have to pull from my pile of wounded fellas. It's just atrocious that I have to get them out of bed, hike, maybe overzealous. She cannot really be trusted with this kind of task. But let's put her, uh, may, maybe, Krakla, uh, sit this one out with your plasma sword. <laughs> maybe, maybe refrain from doing that kind of uh, violent interaction. Don't worry, Hai's got this under control. Here they come. Why are you so slow? Because you're in withdrawal. Like, you, you are, you are absolutely dead meat. <laughs> what are you idiots doing? Smack! <laughs> Get them good. All right, well. <laughs> the dogman is already down. Okay, please hike. Don't play golf with his head. Okay, well done. Well done. Ragman got hit up a little bit, but other than that, it's fine. I hate that you are still... Or, what is this? Uh, T Rose is tending banana, by the way. That's what's happening right now. That is such an uncommon bug. Never saw that happen before. Did she do it? Yep, she did it. Well done, T Rose. <laughs> well done. Free tending. Are you bleeding? You're not bleeding. And T Rose still trying to tend banana. She is trapped behind the door, though. I'm now curious to see how this bug progresses. What what is the problem here? Okay, she she gave up on it. But she tended him. Well done. <laughs> Distance telekinesis. Uh, if I had known that she has such incredible powers, she would have been the doctor all this time. Uh okay, there was somebody else that was bleeding though. Let me let me take care of that real uh, quick before I forget. High Kassam bleeders. We cannot tolerate this. Sorry, Hike, I know that you are like you are industrious, you like to take care of things, but we can't afford for you to go out and do that. Uh, F and Damas, you need to go to sleep, bud. I know you like to take care of your animals and all that, but you really need to go sleep. Uh, where's T-Rose? Let her eat their meal, and then she can go tend to Hike. And that should be okay. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we can't just leave them bleeding on the floor. Please tell me they didn't get too wrecked. The rifle barrel actually made this poor bastard bleed. Uh, tend to diver after that. Filthy heathen, are you any good at medical? You're actually good. I didn't realize that. In fact, filthy heathen should be a doctor before T Rose is. That being said. I mean, you know, the Filthy Heathen is pretty much completely worthless right now because he's on a constant mental break. Turns out that uh, some people have moral objections to people-shaped people being consumed as food. People-shaped people. That is a, a, word, a, a string of words that I just came out of my mouth. Man, Nefin Dam is so dedicated. He really needs to go. He's dealing with it, though. He's dealing with it. He's fine. He's not even passionate about medical. He just likes to take care of his animals. But he'll never miss an opportunity, though, to <laughs> imply negative things about Blargo's crafting skills. Usually he is far more direct than that, but now he was just sly, being like, hmm... Uh, I've seen better, I've seen better stuff crafted by other people that are slightly more skilled than you. That's not an implication, is it? That is a, a very uh, direct, mild insult. How many wounds does this elephant have? It's stupid. <laughs> it's so freaking dumb. The amount of wounds. Blargo, yeah, Blargo is just dying over here, trying to get his mood under control 
I would like that flu be intended though. It's already, uh, you know, they recover from the flu even without being treated. So it's not that big a deal. That poor calf is definitely going to go out, go the way of the daughter, though. Like, that's just not going to, not going to survive the pregnancy. Uh, tragedy to be sure. It's stressing me out so much. Please just go to sleep, effing damas. They'll be okay. No immediate danger. Yeah, the, the little bleeders, they'll take care of themselves. The flu will take care of itself. Don't worry about it. Okay, we took care of that horrible, horrible problem. This little mech, little cleaner, has its work cut out for it. I just realized, too, that, hey, there is a thing here that wants corpses. Let's move the corpses over there. Very low priority, though. I don't want anybody to be wasting time doing that. But uh, if there is monsters to behold, why are you holding them down there? Yeah, I miscarriage. We knew that that would happen. Why are you holding them here, though? I told you not to. I could have sworn I did. Okay. I did not. I did not do it. <laughs> uh, do not put freaking sight stealers here. I am done butchering them. Okay, so why is Erica Dawson holding this cor I guess corpses are extremely high priority no matter what the task is. Kind of silly though to waste time with that, but whatever. Let it, let it happen. Just let it happen. This flu is annoying as hell. All right, I think that we're finally <clears throat> we're finally okay. Damas finally I gave him the nice bed because he was just too mad he was too mad and he was going to also die just like too mad did he just wakes up having a night stay and a night snack and tending to diver huh Is that, that's what you're doing you're going all the way out here to grab this herbal medicine just to tend to diver you are an idiot <laughs> Why do you have medical uh, medicine assigned? Makes no sense. Can't wait to be able to move all this stuff, but there's so many things in the queue of things to do. It's just out of control. We have no more um, digging to be done. Let's remedy that. Always be digging. Always be digging. A, B, D. This is for uh, future uh, bioponics, not by hydroponics operation. It's going to be right here. I guess we can dig some more dwellings. I'm not comfortable digging further down because there could be caves down here. You don't want to get too close to the edge. We could do so, dig some containment units over here. I would like to create uh, some columns. Be sure that this stuff doesn't all fall apart. But for now, we can do something like this. Just dig out this whole area. What's this? Nine? That's good. Just dig out that whole area. And we will build containment units and stuff like this entire area will be for our SCP containment unit. Don't know if you want to centralize it. Maybe you probably want to space them, right? One day there will be like a mass type of uh, SCP break. And then you have to deal with 20 monsters rampaging through your facility because you let them go. How <laughs> many complications? Are we going to face Cassandra? Bruh! Are you serial? <laughs> what are you doing this to me? What is it, a lancer? And a freaking termite. This is the annoying part. This is the, 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 the horrible, horrible part. <sighs> Alright, let me just deal with this. Let me read that message again. Attack it immediately, intend to breach your walls, determine their own path, 
clearly, clearly, how many? 16. I mean, it's not horrible. We do have, we do have EMP grenades. They're definitely going to come down either through here or through here. And uh, certainly they're going to try to destroy all that, which would they will succeed at. I don't think we want to meet these mechs out in the field. There's a lot of long distance enemies. Five scythers, man. But two lancers for pikemen, you don't want to mess with that. In the field? What kind of gear do we have? Troll pack. I'll take smoke pack. Low shield. We do have a low shield pack. We may have to resort to that. I don't think I mentioned all this time. All this time. You go to Storyteller. All this time. This was not set to losing his fun. And I was like, man, these raids, uh, the elephants must be uh, over, uh, over tuned and they don't count for the wealth and all that stuff. No, no, no. The, of course the raids were easy. We were a regular RimWorld difficulty. Now we're getting a giant freaking mech hive. This is the type of threat that I'm used to instead of the 30 episodes of mild threats that we have faced. Felt pretty damn stupid about that. No wonder also, you know, this was a giant group like they're supposed to be. Anyway, let me, uh, let me come up with a plan of attack and we'll figure it out. All right, a, a bajillion commands have been issued. We got the EMPs queued up. I'm hoping everybody will gather around. And basically, we're just going to fight here. If it looks hairy, we will deploy the shield. We're hoping to, you know, the thumper will destroy the walls in some manner. And we'll hope we're hoping to fight like behind it as they as they stream in. And that should work out okay with some casualties. Hopefully nobody dying outright. Everybody get back though. And also mechs need to go into mech safety. There you go. Uh, at least these guys are fairly slow because they have to go at the speed of the termite. They're not going to uh, to go ahead. Ooh, ooh, what's going on? Distress signal. You've intercepted a distress signal from a nearby camp in Nash, nation of Eraboni. The frantic voice begs for immediate assistance defending against the threat. They offer, every, offer everything at their camp in return for help, including shards of powerful Arco technology. As the voice tries to explain the nature of the threat, the signal goes dead. Uh, I am dealing with problems over here. I can't go. I can't go deal with your mysterious signal that I am sure. I am sure nothing bad is waiting for me there. No kind of eldritch abomination about to wreck my life. I have an abomination of my own that I have to deal with. Everybody's mostly gathered. Thankfully, we have three elephants that are just mostly unscathed. Do we have Break Soul? Okay, Break Soul is coming back with it. Ragman, you're not going to sit this one out, are you? Oh, yeah, I told you to, to eat because you were starving. Ah. <sighs> They're so slow that it makes me feel like maybe we should try and meet them out in the field. Get some shots out. Feels It's so wrong that this is just rotting here. Uh, but uh, the pikemen, the pikemen really are such long distance threats. We're just going to wait for them to come. Well, what my wife does all the time. Anyway, just let's... Anyway. <laughs> just, ah, gloss over all that. I told also Fat Hair Nerd to build some doors. Because this entire area has been considered outdoors for who knows how long. <laughs> I didn't realize that, you know, there is no separation between the inside and the outside. Okay, they're eventually going to make it there. I hate that this is going to take some extra stream breaks. The moods are rapidly decreasing. I don't think I can afford going out there. 
There's no way. I mean, if, if I had thought about it a little bit more, maybe put people over here. That may have been a good idea. It's not too late, though. Is it too late, is it? They could make it. Ah, shit. They could totally make it up there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see the Lancers start uh, trying to kill me. No, no way. They have way too many shots. Nah, they will destroy me. They will destroy me. Fall back, fall back. If I thought about it earlier, I was like, oh, this is a very nice spot to, you know, start shooting as they come through here. Because they often don't chase down your colonies. They just keep going toward your goal, your walls, and then you can shoot them in the back. Uh, I might have to deploy the shield, though. This is rough. This, this is a rough time. Okay, let me organize them properly. There you are. Melee in front. Shooters in the back. We need to see where the termite is going to start trying to destroy my garbage. Are you going to shoot here? Are you going to destroy these walls? Where are you up to? You piece of trash! And hopefully, I'm hoping that to be able to use these. Okay, he's shooting on that side. Kind of changes things, doesn't it? Oh, I always forget to use the mortars. We could have definitely used the mortars for one or two shots. And in fact, Erica Dawson, go man this mortar. Man this steel mortar. Stradax shell. The shells should be only the high explosive. I might be able to get a few shots here. All right, so it's trying to destroy that area. Mm, definitely don't want to be there. But destroying that means I can probably hide here. This is rough. <laughs> this is pretty rough. Put ourselves right there. Put ourselves right there. We can... Uh... Break Soul is just going to be throwing EMP grenades non-stop. Right there. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it was my own grenade. Uh, that shouldn't reach me, right? Ah! Ah! <laughs> you idiot! Go here. How can you possibly miss that throw? That was freaking pathetic, Break Soul. You're supposed to be a, a elite shooter. Did I ever man this? I don't think I did. Okay, so they're coming in. Ooh! Are you shooting my ass? Bruh. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you shoot my animals? Can they even walk? Not sure, but just in case. Uh, let's put the animals zone. New area. Let's just put them right here at the entrance. Animals. Just major stupid mother in law. Oh, they're freaking shooting at a convalescent animal. Just, just. For shame. Okay, uh, time, time to maybe start shooting now? Yeah, hey, uh, get done, bitch! Alright, right, that's great, that's great. <sighs> I hate that they're streaming in, though. Oh, that filthy scyther. You're getting wrecked, though. You're getting destroyed. Oh, yeah. Those grenades doing the job. Can't believe this damn pikeman has a shot there. Let me move Hike up there and crack like back bay. Move him down. Maybe he'll he'll take the shots from the Nice. Oh, that was such a great grenade. That was like the best grenade ever conceived. 
I don't dare throw the melee in there. Let's get the blinding pulse going. I I'll be honest. Psionics have been pretty lackluster so far. <laughs> They're pretty trash. Because uh, you know, we don't have very good ones. But they can be so OP. So, you know, don't don't I'm not trashing psionics, just the ones that we have right now. I think this was as close to flawless as you can possibly get dealing with a mech raid. This was perhaps the absolute best mech defense I have ever accomplished. Truly a moment to feel proud. The, okay, back to unrestricted uh, and the animals back to no filth. I really did not expect this to go nearly so well. That was so great. And I'm feeling awesome. Equip that. Uh, I really expected some serious problems. I was trepidatious. My ball sack was shriveling. But it actually worked out so great. Let me undraft everybody. Did anybody get shot? We're going to absolutely make sure to check. No, just the freaking <laughs> diseases. They're so obnoxious. Oh, looks like Hike took a shot in the liver. Absolutely excellent. Uh, Fathead nerd, how dare you not finish this steel door? What, do you think you're entitled to eating my food without working for your meals? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's enough out of you. Those grenades, EMP grenades, paradigm shift when you get uh, a mechanoid raid. Man, that was awesome. That was great. Very happy with the result of that. I really did not expect did not expect it to go so well. Let's double this up. We put doors. And doors don't matter. Um, that was awesome. Very, very, very pleased with the result. I cannot possibly fathom a better defended mech. Result is pretty happy damage. It was... It was gonna happen. He's abrasive. He needs to get it out. I don't blame you, Evan Damas. I hope that you start a social fight. Nobody likes you anyway because you're abrasive. You're constantly insulting everybody. So, you know, you are going to create uh, a toxic work environment over here. Oh, man, we have no lights here. You're going to create a toxic work environment. But it's okay because Hike got pissed immediately. It's like, I'm so sick of your shit, effing dammit! Just instantly going to fist, fisticuffs. Put that there, put that there. Alright, so that was about as good as it gets, really, for uh, a situation like that. It can get so much worse. The insults just never stop, and the, the poor bastards get a minus 30 to mood because they got insulted 70 times. So, thankfully... That was about as good as it gets. Look at all these shelves. And if in damage, just patching his own stupid ass hike, stupid ass piece of garbage, filthy ass, dumbass, just cooking those zucchinis like he has no idea about zucchinis. Actually, flagrantly disrespected Hike's forehead. It's not her fault. Her, her, her hairline is receding. A person, a wild person. Tell me, tell me about this idiot. He's an artist. Industrious body modder, though. That's like basically a person that will never be a problem. The moment that you give him a couple, a couple uh, enhancements. And he is passionate about shooting, but you know, look at this. Look at this ass. How about you wander off into oblivion, you moron. You absolute trash garbage person. I hate you. All right. Great. The oak outcome. I'm still reeling from the fact that was so good. Fat haired nerd is taking a dirt nap because uh, that's right. We took away his little nook, gave it to a literal monster. 
Talk about disrespect, holy crap. I would like to give you a space to sleep, buddy. You have been a faithful lapdog. Let's make you a hole. A bespoke hole that you can call your home. Where can we put him? Trying to look for some space that he can be like, oh, this is my tiny home. It may be humble. It may be absolutely pathetic. But it is mine. It belongs to me. Let me let me just create it for you. We're going to carve it out of the the stone. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, Berserk. Ah, it's just it's just a prisoner. He can knock himself out. Um Digging all this stuff out. There's gonna be more dwellings over there. How about over here? This is a, a decent spot. I mean, this hallway does continue to go down this way. It's meant to go down this way. Okay, let me give you... Give you a hole that goes like this. There you go. How you like the slave space? I feel like that's an appropriate little uh, slave cave. Filthy heathen. Put him down again. Punch him. Thirst. <laughs> down. Dirty dog. You dirty dog. Ah. All right. Great. Great job. Great job. You're already fitting in, filthy heathen. We just need to convert you one more time in 23 hours. You will be finally part of this colony. All your silly ideological problems will be over. By the way, oh, oh, my phone's going off. Ah, it was the doctor being, uh, having so much pain, uh, a bunch of pain in my middle fingers, both of them, but more the right one. I was like, let's do some x-rays, see if there's something weird going on in there. Leader speech, work drive, all that good stuff, all right. Uh, call me saying, nah, there's nothing, not, nothing shows. Literally said, unremarkable the x-rays show absolutely nothing i'm like but it hurts though well, i don't know what to tell you do you want to go physical therapy no i don't want some physical therapy i want a doctor to go into the freaking hand and take a knife to the problem and cut it out but apparently that's not an option so i guess i'll just have to keep dealing with it it's really not that bad. It, it's just, you know, sometimes it kind of, it got to the point where if I move it, it gets uh, caught. Sometimes feel like some, there's something going on in there. But hey, if the x-rays doesn't show arthritis or any kind of serious problem, if if it's not a serious problem, why deal with it? That, uh, just wait until it's an actual serious problem. So there you go. That is the call that I just received. I hope that you appreciate the fact that I told you about it. Get some time going forward. We dealt with that horrible threat. At some point, this machining table is going to be this uh, miscreated. Bruh. Sadistic rage. <laughs> Vent her anger on, her, on the prisoners. Is it just beating? I mean, she just did this. She's just expanding upon it. <laughs> the question is, is it murderous sadistic rage? Or does she just rough him up a little bit? Let's find out. Conk. <laughs> well, Diver Fog's back. So you may want to uh, be careful there, filthy heathen. Okay, do you continue? You don't continue. Do you want to teach uh, Kinshasht also a lesson? You ran out of prisoners to beat. Want to beat the slave? I bring him over. I can accommodate you. She just wander around, just grumbling to herself, being all pissy like. Just uh, dealing with her rage. I get you. I get you, buddy. Don't worry. We've all been there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Please build this thing. Do I even have steel? I have plenty of steel. I mean, no, I don't have a ton. But there's all these all mined out. They have plenty of steel to go around. 
It's just that there's too many things to be done. We've been dealing with all the threats, all the damn anomalies, and uh, just constant problems. Blargo, you're feeding meals to Stumpmaster. How the the these poor, poor creatures? They did get that miscarriage, but other than that, it's all good. Let's get some repairs on these. There you go. Repair those mechanoids. Hike, are you okay? Yeah, you just need a little bit of food. You can actually just go eat it yourself. Don't be a pussy. All right. If they're no longer capable of walking, you gotta repair those both both of those. I definitely want to start this scanner. We'll shove dive it in there, or maybe Kinshaya Shushushush. Whatever the hell is going on with that name. Freaking Yitakin names are absolute abomination. Let's repair. Okay, finally getting that done. Please, no more events for a little while. I'm okay with a little bit of peace. You can let me. Extreme break race still. I feel the heathen you just can't handle. You just can't handle anything. But. Hike must be very close to off cooldown. She's getting there. What's going on with Erica Dawson? Oh, chemical starvation. Does she have... She's also a recluse, which, you know, it makes a problem. In this colony, she's just always going to have that minus eight. Uh, I do have some wake up and some go juice. But you probably don't want to give her that. You want to give her something like, you know, psychite tea. Something way softer. I think it's time for us to plant some psychite. We can just put a giant field of psychite back here. Psychoid. I always get confused the, the terminology. Psychoid plants right there. Jesse Fassman has a problem. Uh, just more freaking muscle parasites. They're so upsetting. Okay, the repairs are underway. Bargo is doing okay. Yeah, he's fine. Animal wandering away. No. At some point, this fence is definitely going to get built. Eventually, it will happen. There's just so many orders queued up. All these walls need to be built. What now? Crisis of the Belief on Diver? That's good. Excellent. Screw them. By the way, prisoner, only maintain you. I'm so idiot. We got to convert this idiot. <laughs> just been suffering there for no reason. All right, we finally have a little nook for our friend, fat-haired nerd. Let me just give him our best bedroll. Fine, we'll give him a actual bed. Fine. But it's a single twin bed. What is it? Please. Ah, I couldn't see it because he was grayed out. But because we're assholes, we're going to give it a <laughs> sandstone <laughs> What an ass. What an absolute asshole. It's fine. He can have a sandstone. A sandstone. Mm, what's it called? <laughs> Side, not the nightstand. And even a dresser. A nice little hole that he can call home. And you know what? Do you know what, fat head nerd? You can even build your own. Blargo has many important things to do. You build doors. You build doors. How about you build yourself your own bed? Actually, you know what? Build build the door. The door has no... no uh, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's high quality or not. Okay, we can get rid of that. Another door right here. We can put a, uh, is it in furniture? Yeah, sun lamp. This is going to consume a bajillion joules of power. So many watts. Mm. Where would that be? It would be just furniture? Production, right? Hydroponics, there you are. We really need some steel, though. All right, we make it like these. There you go. It's trying to just consume a bajillion. Oh yeah, it really, I, I've seen guides of doing it optimally, 
and it's a silly it's a silly no notion it's like as long as you just have them like so that's plenty because if you look at the sun lamp and then you build one here and maybe you're wasting like one one stop one space there you go anyway that's the plan let's simply disallow it for now there's so many higher priorities in the colony let's not waste our time doing that just yet there's no power we definitely need some power going into these all right finally we have a machining table holy crap shred mechanoid do forever in fact we should have a small stockpile zone do it like that and clear everything just put no friendly only enemies and all the dead mechanoids should be stored right there and we're going to give it critical priority and uh, all these dead mechanoids will be right there next to the machining table we do want some power being uh, transferred over there though okay the door was built Vargo is building some uh, AC units do you need anything you need a little bit of sleep Give fat haired nerd a sandstone bed. Days on Erica does, and that's fine. Oh, these damn mental breaks. Ooh, I really hate that it happened out here, though. She can get murdered so easily. I might punch her. <laughs> I might have to punch her. What's her needs right now? Ah, she'll just drop. Why is she so upset? Oh, this, I just got done saying chemical starvation and all that stuff. By the way, we closed it up, but it's still kind of uh, cold in here. Let's uh, give ourselves nice, comfortable. Jesse Fassman has collapsed. <laughs> what? These people, brother. <laughs> Everybody, just they just don't take care of themselves. They need uh, to look at a few videos on self-improvement. Get our, some heaters going on. Jesse Fassman, what what were you doing here? I understand that you have muscle parasites, but is it really that hard to just go to bed? It's not that hard, is it? You absolute buffoon. Get yourself some food and go to bed. Oh, probably because you have for a bed for a bed you have a nasty ass ratty bedroll all the way over there so you know i understand i understand your problem okay so this is now for slaves set owner fat head nerd wow great stuff so what's the deal with these beds we need to get these beds built man that's a lot of problems everybody's got so many freaking problems get me this bed built we can give it to to Fastman. We can give it to Filthy Heathen. By the way, hike two hours. Finally, the conversion shall happen. How far do you need to go for wood? For some reason, the wood is just not being hauled. It's pretty upsetting. Hey, our psychite is being. Oh yeah, psychite is being harvested. She, does she really need to travel twice to get that done? Where is Filthy Heathen? It's time, Filthy Heathen. At last, we're going to give you that conversion. It's definitely going to happen. Yeah, finally. Filthy Heathen inducted into our great cult. Heathen no longer. Your name shall be henceforth. La Katrina Extreme 
Whiner. You, we will not forget how much of a giant whiny baby you were throughout this whole time. But you're, you have finally turned a new leaf. You can finally embrace our way of life. And soon, all of this nonsense shall no longer bother you. How about you? Oh, wow. We have no food. I just now realized we're running out of food. <laughs> we don't have human meat. And we're out of um, freaking mushrooms. They are ready for harvest. Most of them are, but... Uh, that's a problem. That's a real problem. What's the animals looking like? The wildlife. Oh, there's a bunch of buffaloes. Mm, destroy them! How far are they? They're not even that far. What's the worst that can happen? Hey, Erica Dawson. She is actually coming back. Thank goodness, because it was a problem having her just wander about over there. That would have been bad as, as hell. <laughs> T-Rose. Have you considered maybe carrying more than one twig to the wooden door? Come over here and hold an actual armful of wood for shame, T-Rose. Same on you, Blargo. Come over here and hold some actual wood. This is stupid. Shame on you. You gotta do those big trips full of full of stuff to carry. One of these days, Hike is going to finish this bed. And it will be glorious. It's going to be amazing. The way that she's going to finish that freaking bed. It's 41 minutes. It's 41 minutes. We gotta leave. Hey, there's Fathead Nerd in his new little hole. It's okay. We have... Bruh. I sure hope this is Effin Damas out there. Please be Effin Damas. It's Break Soul. Okay, but Effin Damas is here with his elephants. I was like, oh shit, we may be in big trouble with Muffalos being upset. But effing them as with the elephants, they will counteract this problem. Hike doesn't have to club some Muffalos in the head, does she? Just in case, might as well do it. Jump over there. Uh, where's effing Damas? There she is. There he is. You shoot some freaking Muffalos. Break soul. Get done shooting. Holy crap, they're fast. <laughs> they're charging! They're charging! Run, Brexel! It's okay. Cybertrunk and mother-in-law will overpower these muffalos, but holy crap. Run! Okay, shoot. Hike will intercept. Kabush! <laughs> Club it straight in the head. Yeah. Yep, club is straight in the head. Hike has a tendency to, yep, yeah, very, very prone to aim straight for their noggin. Some serious problems going on over here. Effing Damas, get the hell out of there. Let the elephants do their business. All right, good, good. Okay, we, we are, uh, it was rough. <laughs> it was a moment of panic, but it's a very good outcome. Effing Damas, do you get to bleed? No, it's all good. Excellent. Buffalo shall be hunted. Can't believe that nobody has picked up this thing. Hike, it's time. We're going to install this damn thing right there, and you are going to do it. I know that I sent you out to haul some freaking wood and uh, get things done, but you are going to not haul it. You're going to uh, install it. What a pain. Nothing ever gets done. Speaking of, this fence is pissing me off. Did anything get actually hurt? Nothing. All right. It's all good. Everything's great. These lifters are feeding. I don't know what the, the point of this is. The weird trees are eating these corpses. I guess you're supposed to chop them down eventually. Once they are fully grown or something. We'll just let this keep happening and we'll see. Jesse Fastman, you're having a real bad time. Your life is... I, I, I do not envy it. Let me just give you a proper bed, you poor bastard. There you go. Jesse Fastman gets a bed of her own. It is such a miserable experience to be Jesse Fastman with her muscle parasites and her frail torso. It is truly, absolutely atrocious. 
hey, our hospital is actually empty. Let's get ourselves some organization here. Um, it's even too far from the the dresser. If you reinstall it here, though, that's centered. It's not close enough. It's not. Hmm. That's upsetting. I guess we can just build two dressers or maybe have a back-to-back -back beds over here. Bruh. <laughs> Why are people always fighting in this colony? Everybody hates each other. There are no friends. There are no friends in this place. Everybody just ends up just punching themselves in the face. Come on. Come on, don't drop either of you. I need both of you in working order. Just uh, work it out. <laughs> Bruh, come on. You can do it. Who's gonna win? Spoke badly of Tyros' accent. This drove Tyros into a rage and she began the fight. Neither of them went down. Don't mock Tyros' accent. She can't help it. You tried to learn a second language, bitch. Shit. All right. Hike, why are you hurt? I don't know, but what are we going to do about this hospital? I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll see you in the next episode.